So today we are doing the exclusive sneak peek at DC Universe, the exhibit, Greatest Superheroes and Supervillains as part of Warner Brothers Studio Tour Hollywood. What's so exciting about it is that we have the costumes and props here two months before the movie even comes out in theaters. So we're kind of inviting people to come get close and personal with the costumes and props. Uh, when it comes to attendance, we normally get around a thousand people here a day. During peak seasons like summer and winter, that number goes way up to a couple of thousand a day. This exhibit in particular, I think, is going to bring some people out of the woodwork that haven't taken the tour before or want to come back and see it because Suicide Squad itself is such a highly anticipated film. <laughs> So from Suicide Squad, we have some of the most iconic characters, like Harley Quinn right behind me, Margot Robbie's character. We have Jared Leto's Joker. We have Will Smith's Deadshot. And then not just that, very, very exciting and iconic props and a cool photo op. We got part of Bell Rev Prison, the actual set that they filmed on in Harley Quinn's jail cell. So as a guest, you can come in, be in the set, and even take a photo behind bars. In the same exhibit, in addition to Suicide Squad, we have an amazing collection for Batman vs. Superman, Dawn of Justice, and for the first time ever on display, we have number one comics that came straight out of the DC archive. So we're talking the Batman number one, Superman, Wonder Woman, Green Lantern, Aquaman, and then the first cover of Cyborg, uh, which was from the new Teen Titans. And like we said, it's the first time those comics have ever come out of the DC archive, and they're here to welcome guests when they walk in the exhibit. That's one of the most exciting things about the entire exhibit is that what we have here are authentic on-set costumes and props. So everything here was worn or used by the actors in the film. Uh, everybody wait. Hey. <laughs> All right, guys.